um, to run with this tutorial the requirement software will be miniconda flutter sdk and vs code and uh, i will not uh, teach you how to install these applications uh, you can find those application here Sarva just search uh, google miniconda in google here uh, and then download the miniconda from the link here conda.io slash miniconda because this miniconda help uh, this miniconda contains uh, python and we need python installed in in our uh, computer and then we need flutter sdk for flutter development uh, as uh, we are uh, using flutter as front end and then uh, i will not show you how this installation process because it is very very large and i don't want to waste my time and then or you just uh, install the visual studio code because i will go th through the this co code editor and so that is why i uh, install it for the tutorial and then uh, we will set up our project now after in, uh, completing this uh, getting this application uh, we are going to set up the application now after completing installation of the softwares these softwares uh, miniconda flutter sdk and vs code then we uh, need, need to go through these steps step one creating a virtual environment of python as we are are going to developing the uh, django we need a virtual environment for the project and then uh, open a uh, django project and uh, and start a new flutter project and all all everything uh, will be inside a folder or directory here i will open create a folder um um our project and i will move to the folder and here i will create a, a the um, flutter virtual environment to create virtual environment i will um, go to the terminal and as a and cd to, to the directory as uh, we um, as we uh, have installed conda uh, mini conda we have conda and we have uh, python 3 inside uh, inside our uh, uh, in a pc global in, in the global environment and we need to install the um, python, uh, python virtual environment installation just uh, search for, uh, how to install python virtual environment and then Mm, go to uh, go to, uh, to a documentary here i uh, install the gripper in your uh, chrome extension so that you can find um, good course um, by searching in online here i we get python here we get uh, this command pip install virtual env we install the virtual env inside our computer and then i have installed my our virtual in environment and then as virtual env then i make a folder then this is our project and inside this folder i will create our virtual environment so this is the command of creating virtual environment python m vnv uh, uh, in VNV, the, then the uh, name of the virtual environment. Name of the virtual environment is uh, uh, ENV Pi ENV for Django. and it will create a virtual environment in this g directory 
here this is the virtual environment and we need to we need to activate this virtual env so uh, we will write uh, source s o e r c source this is the root path uh, this means add our root path and then we will say uh, the folder name our project because our project folder is inside the root path um, inside the root path our, our project and then we will move to our the, uh, inside our project there is there is this virtual environment i will write the name of the of my virtual environment v e n v pi uh oh, sorry pi n pi um E N V for Django slash bin slash activate. Here I have activate our uh, pi E N V for Django, and then uh, we will need to start our uh, Django project. To start our Django project, we will use. Uh, before starting our Django project, we need to install Django in the uh, in this virtual environment. To install Django in this virtual environment, I will search for the command of uh, Django. Here it will. Here gripper is suggesting this line of code, so I will uh, set pip in env install Django. Here I have installed Django here, and then what we need uh, to then we will start our project. In inside uh, our project. Uh, we, I will create another file and the name name of our project. The name of our project is uh, e-commerce e book app. Sorry, I give the project name online bookshop. And then I will uh, create this folder and inside I will move to, inside this folder and cd to the path and then i will run the command my our, my command and the command is uh django admin start project and the project name is i think uh, this and project name is uh her uh, um, but i the project name is online bookshop but i will not uh, the give it this name i will give the project uh, here i will create a setting here inside this settings folder inside this settings folder uh there is a uh, i uh, we need to configure our uh, everything of our project so i create a, uh, i name this uh, folder settings and i uh, use dot here so that it create in the path uh, this directory and then i will open the project uh, in our my, my vs code after opening and uh, the file uh, it is asking for trust and i trust it and then what we need to do we need to uh, say the um, um, vs code that uh, uh, before that we need some extension python extension here in in this extension section we will install uh, many many uh, pythons in uh, extensions here i installed some 
extensions for python and they are pylens python and python environment manager python extension back seven extension back python for vs code and um uh, because those ex extensions are help helpful and i also uh installed a flutter uh some flutter uh extensions and dart extensions and i also install uh, some django extensions and some extensions for picking up color and and bracket uh, pair colorized uh, to um, these extensions will be helpful for us uh, for uh, for this project uh, okay it is optional but you will get uh, help uh, from the extensions after installing these extensions you have to restart the visual studio code and then uh, from view and command plate you can uh, write here in this words uh, uh, select interpreter uh, and it, it you will get uh, interpreter and you will get this python select interpreter and then select the interpreter of our virtual environment uh, and um, here uh, select the enter interpreter path the interpreter path will be and then find it and and the, our, our um, interpreter pa path is uh, this virtual environment okay and bin and i think python uh, yes python or python 3 anything after selecting this interpreter here we get uh, the here this is the interpreter and now we can uh, okay now um, we can go through our project here you can see the the inter virtual environment automatic activated because we select the uh, python interpreter from the uh, command plate so now we can uh, simply run our any var uh, Django uh, command from this uh, terminal um, and we will uh, run python uh, we will not run um, Django admin admin um, run server we will not run this uh, this Django admin run server because the Django admin do not know where the uh, project is because and we will run python manage.py this manage.py knows the location of our project so we will simply write python manage.py run server oh sorry yes manage.py run server and it will run the server uh, for us here you can move to the open this directory and it start our django project and now the third step is we will create another and a flutter project inside in this our project folder mm. and so uh, here in visual studio code uh, uh, press ctrl c to cancel the server and in here visually studio code uh, open new window and then uh, from com view common plate uh, as we install flutter extension we will get fl uh, command uh, con uh, flutter command from here we will use a new project flutter new flutter new project here select the flutter new project and it will ask uh, what are you need to do if is your new project is application or module 
और पैकेज और प्लाग इन और स्केलीटन और एप्लीकेशन इज और एप्लीकेशन इज येस वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड देन फ्रॉम द रूट डिरेक्टरी वी विल मूव टू आवर द फोल्डर फॉर प्रोजेक्ट फोल्डर एंड वी विल क्रिएट द फ्लाटर प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस डिरेक्टरी वी नीड एवरीथिंग इन दिस सिलेक्टेड डिरेक्टरी सो दैट वी कैन मैनेज आवर प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड देन द नेम ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट इज मैन ऑफ ऑनलाइन शॉप ऑनलाइन बुक शॉप एप आई विल आई हैव आई विल डिबाक एवरीथिंग इन लिनक्स एंड माई फ्लाटर एस डी के हैज दिस लिनक्स एनाबेल enabled linux linux enabled to enable linux in your pc you can go to this link uh, flutter uh, doc flutter dot dev and get start and linux install slash linux in this installation uh, additional linux requirement there is linux requirement it requires these packages install these packages in your pc and then enable linux on your desktop so that you can debug everything in linux you can debug everything in android also but android is uh, heavy for me and so i will not install uh, um install this i, I have enabled the enable uh, linux for my project and here i will enable linux and i already have enabled uh, here linux is enabled and to after enabling linux you can create a uh, flutter you can run flutter create dot uh, to uh, get the linux folder here okay and after uh, enabling uh, enabling this linux you can run, run flutter run and 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 you will select the device uh linux for debugging and here you go my project uh, runs successfully if you uh i will debug everything in linux and you can debug uh, anywhere you like uh, there is no problem no difference everything is will be same so here you go uh, this part and in the next part we will and move and um, see what uh, how to build django api and how to uh, add the django everything uh, to build uh, a, and shop a, a online shop book shop yeah. assalamu alaikum please make sure everything uh, in, in this uh, so far is um, okay